1, the diagram on the right shows the locus of a moving point P, X, Y. So we know this one as Y. Uh, and, and is of fixed distance from a point A, 3, 4. Find the equation of the locus of P. So we can see that it's touching X axis. So touching the X axis, that means the radius is equal to this height, which is 4. So we know that P is from a fixed distance of 4 from A. So, using the equation, this one is x minus x1 square plus y minus y1 square is equal to radius. So, this one is basically like this. So, you have a circle, right? So, you have point P here. So, here, this one is the distance of x. This one is the distance of y. So, we are using the formula of x v uh, hypotenuse. So, we know that this one x square plus y square is equal to this one. Is the r square where third x square plus y square is equal to r this is basically the origin but you don't need to know this as long as you remember this formula it's something it's actually something like this so this one is x represent distance in x and this one is distance in y that's why x minus x1 y minus y1 to get the distance of x and y so here so we know that this one is 3 4 right so we have this one 3 4 so here x minus 2 3 plus y minus this one is 4 don't forget your square is equal to radius so the radius is 4 so we bring to the other side here we get x minus 3 square plus y minus 4 square is equal to 16 now you can expand this so this one x square 2 times negative 3 times x we get minus 6x so 3 square we get plus 9 so this one y square 2 times negative 4 times y we get minus 8y 4 square we get 16 is equal to 16 so here we bring to the other side but actually you can see that 16 and 16 can be cancelled out right so this one is equal to 0 so here we get x square so I rearrange it x square and y square first and then x and y so x square and y minus 8y so here we have plus 9 plus 9 is equal to 0 so this is it